Hey, good morning guys. Uh, Francis here again. And uh, the good news is the uh, Easter Bunny brought me my LTB box. Well, <laughs> we all know who brought my LTB box. But anyway, uh, other good news is Joe, the, uh, the big boss man approved my vacation request. So um, I'll be uh, officially going to East Texas in uh, early May and I need to start making my plans because I'm going from like north part of East Texas down to south part of East Texas. And since it's Easter, we're waiting on cousin Mary Kay to get here. So while we're waiting on her, we're going to uh, open up the LTV box. So anyway, we'll uh, get her open. I'm sorry guys, I'm not in the mood for a firecracker, opening these things up with firecrackers. Uh, maybe the next one, but anyway, let's get started here. Um, okay, you have your uh, golden ticket, whoops, right here, and uh, for those who don't know about it, uh, there's a, on the 20th, on the Lucky Tackle Box um, YouTube channel, uh, they're going to have a drawing so a lot of people win something, you know, actually win something if they call out your number here. So let's uh, move on, there's a, uh, a sticker. We've all seen this one before. I like it. It's, uh, you know, the very Americana and patriotic, right? That's why I like it. Um, another little card here that just talks a little bit more about some of the baits that you have. But uh, the main card that we're looking for is the bait card that we're going to um, go off of. And I uh, found it. Plus, before I go into it, we'll go into uh, Fish Hound Magazine. And it's a little. Uh, magazine that comes with your box every month, your LTB box, and has good little articles on um, fishing in general and different baits, and looks like there's a special bait in here, which I'll find because I read this article a little bit on uh, the benefits of balsa, meaning balsa baits. So uh, when we get to that bait, I'll talk a little bit more about it, but let's go ahead and uh, pull out our bait card. The first one on the list here, well, it's that bait that I was talking about. Bagley, Bagley. Uh, here it is. I'm going to pull it out of the box for you. Hopefully I don't stick myself. And, uh, you know, Bagley, let's see, uh, this one's made in Serbia, not China. So that's a good thing. And, uh, come on, out. Don't poke yourself. All right, very good. Let's see if I can zoom in. I love the color. It looks like a little yellow perch color. And I'm not sure, you know, we don't have a lot of uh, yellow perch in Texas, but uh, and I could be wrong. I just haven't seen any. But I do like the colors. It's very kind of, uh, oh, um, there's a word for it I'm trying to think, but I can't pull it off right now. But it's made of balsa. And if you read the article in the, in the uh, little magazine there, you're going to learn a little bit more about baits made with balsa. Uh, Rapala is pretty famous for making uh, baits out of balsa, balsa wood. So, let's see, is there any other uh, details I can tell you about? Of course, every time I read, I gotta pull my glasses down, all right? What I was looking for was a, uh, a diving dip, but I just don't see it. Um, hold it, here it is. It's a 3 8 ounce, dives to 8 to 12 feet. Okay, 8 to 12 feet. All right, let's put this down before I hurt myself. Next one, Vicious Fishing, Extreme Vibe. Um, vicious, oh, okay, another good bait. It's a uh, Crawl Dead Red uh, crankbait, lipless crankbait. I like these. Nope, I said this before. Ouch. Okay. Hooks are sharp, by the way. Um, I like these because I have my best luck with them. Yeah, there you go. Now, um, I did a little bit of reading earlier. There are two uh, places to uh, tie your line to. The front part is for more uh, shallow diving, and if you Type further back, that's for more deeper diving. So all you gotta do is 
cast it out, reel it back in. Uh, no big deal, it's basically crankbait. Uh, let's see, what's the next one here? Five inch finesse worm by Lake Lunkers. Okay, here it is. I'll pull one out. It's a nice deep red, I mean red, blue, excuse me. Um, it had, it's, um, has some silver flake in it. So, and it's one of these worms that's kind of flat on the bottom. I think this manufacturer's kind of known for having a flat bottom on their soft plastics. And let's see, I think it'd be good for, um, um, here I go again, I'm, I'm losing my mind. Um, shaky head, thank you. All right, whoever said that. Uh, shaky head it, uh, Texas rig it. Um, you could whack your rig it if you want to. Um, and you know, I, don't, I haven't tested it to see if it really floats or not. So if, you, if it doesn't, if it's a good floater, you know, it might be pretty good on a drop shot. I'm right, gonna put this back. At least these soft baits, they don't hurt me when I mess around with them, right? Okay, uh, Mr. Twister, buzz ball. Buzz, buzz, bug, excuse me. All right. Forgive me, it's Easter. I got uh, candy on my mind right now, all right? Oh, okay, so. Actually, they look like little creature baits and with like frog legs on it. And there's different colors in them too. So this was like kind of a black with uh, yellow legs. Okay, Let's see what, are, what other colors are in here. This is a, a blue uh, with uh, slightly green uh, appendages on the bottom. And let's see, it has a blue flake. Here's another one. This is kind of a, a red with a red flake. I don't think it shows up too well on the camera as red, but it's a very, very dark, deep red. You know, you could use these for um, trailers. In fact, I think I read on here, use it for a trailer. But you could also do a, a Texas rig. And you know, you could probably uh, come to think about Mojo or Carolina too. Here's more of a uh, green pumpkin or uh, with red flake. So they give you a variety of colors in this one. That's interesting. So if you got a variety of different jigs that you want some different color trailers to, this would be a good bait to uh, go to. All right, what's next? Diachi hooks. Okay, here, here they are. And I'm not gonna pull them out because you know I'm gonna stick myself, right? So from reading the package, it's a variety of different sizes from one aught or from one to five aught. So um, obviously you can use these on the soft baits that they gave, that they gave you. Uh, what's next? Raw Outdoors, Raw 10B Swim Bait. Oh, okay. I got a story about this. I'm guessing about three years ago, I thought swim baits were all the screen. And I got on the internet, and or Amazon actually, and I found a bunch of these baits. And they came from China under the uh, name Rose Cali. And uh, let's see if you can see here. And I played around with them. And I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm going to give you my honest opinion because I've had this particular one before. They really didn't swim straight. They kind of swam like this. I'm trying to show, show it at an angle. And I got kind of uh, frustrated with them. Um, I had not caught a fish with it yet. And so uh, there was this grill at work and one or two others. But I just gave, I mean, I bought a bunch of these, different colors and stuff. And uh, I gave them away. 
And um, about a month later, they come back and said, look, we caught fish with them. You should have kept them, but thank you anyway. So, well, now I got one, so I'm gonna try again. Um, this next one is Native Series Snake Crank. I'm not sure what to uh, make of this. It says Prime Chase Lure Company. I'm gonna pull this out because I did try to go on the internet and do some research. I didn't find a lot. I found the company and some of the other baits that they sell, but I did not find this one. And so I'm assuming you're gonna, of course now it's stuck, it won't come out. And I can't even take, it, take the package out. Let's see, why don't I just use brute force? Yeah, brute force always works, right? But now I got it caught on something else. All right, maybe I can just show it off like this. Ow! Uh-oh, okay, sharp hooks, okay? All right, sharp hooks. So it's the weirdest looking shape of a crankbait. I guess you just throw it like a crankbait. Uh, throw it out and uh, reel it back in. And I can't find anything on here about how deep it dives. And it's made in China. So I, I really tried to do my research on this so when I did this video I could talk more about it. I only did it because it's the weirdest looking crankbait I've ever found, but I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna set this aside. Um, anything else new on here? I think that's it, guys. Um, they did throw in some uh, bait mate fish attractant. It's not on the bait card, but there it is. And uh, that is it. So, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Francis Kiefel and I approved this video.